Okay, I wanted to make this quick video. Um, some of you may or may not know I get involved in a lot with mobile computing and different kinds of mobile devices in the barcode related biz. So I make it a point to save some of my old hardware um, and, and also some of my older phones, which is some of the stuff's getting that old enough now where it's getting to be kind of like museum ready you know like for example uh, this is the blackberry uh, device pretty small as you can see back then they were still thinking smaller was better right like you know and because they used to be huge before this right so uh, completely text-based right this could check emails and send text messages um, but I think BlackBerry did in its day, right? They had the whole financial world and everybody using those devices. Pretty good device. Uh, obviously obsolete now. Um, here's one that goes back quite a ways um, and before that. So I'm kind of going older here a little bit. But um, this is a mobile phone that I had when I was on Primeco uh, in Chicago, which was a small company that got bought by Cellular One which I think then got acquired by Verizon, but, um, you know, got the re retractable antenna, you know, kind of a thing. Actually, I really loved this phone when I first got it. You know, all it could do was make phone calls, right? You're not even doing text messages on something like this. Very simple, very rugged. And this was, what I remember about this device is this is finally when mobile phone rates just plummeted, like where it became everybody could have a cell phone that happened during the era of this device i really actually really liked this one and had a lot of fun with it because it was when i was it really worked well uh and it was a device that um you know the cost was reasonable which was great you know you weren't just worried every time you made a phone call anymore um now uh next one in my uh, display of different my gallery of different devices I've got here. This is a visor device and it's um, really considered more of a PDA or a personal, you know, this is kind of Palm Pilot era, right? So back when everybody was getting Palm Pilots, uh, you know, I don't even think they had Wi-Fi. They had some capability to communicate like you could you know, press the infrared button on it and it would, you know, someone could give you their contact information that way. This was back when everybody thought it was cool to just have everybody's contacts like kind of in your personal digital assistant and maybe you would type into this some notes and things you're going to do for the day. But really, you know, as a device, surprisingly, these Palm Pilots and devices took off, but really the amount of productivity you get out of something like this is really pretty limited, right? I mean, you know, it's it's it just doesn't do that much. So it was sort of like almost like mobile computing for mobile computing's sake, right? Because it was just not really going to do too much for you. Everybody was kind of doing it for the fun of it, you know, Palm Pilots. But the visor was one that I was working with because it had a scanner that could plug into the back here. And you could scan things with it. I did a couple projects with customers that they could use this device. And then lastly, in my uh, menu of different devices here, this is a Motorola flip phone, which a lot of you may remember this device that are uh, elderly like I am. But it's uh, literally, you know, back when they were, you know, phones you know, at this time were as long as this, you know, entire phone. Um, and so this was a big innovation by Motorola to make it so that you would speak into that little microphone there and that would flip down and also cover up the keypad, right? So, you know, and with this device, you, you were definitely thinking as you were flipping it, you were thinking, you know, Scotty, beam me up, right? Like from Star Trek, right? Because... Captain Kirk used to flip open his little communicator, as they called him. You know, of course, Star Trek, of course, sci-fi predicted all of this, right? That, that we would be able to communicate this way. So Motorola flip phone, very fun, you know, definitely 
I think someday actually this one might be something that people would want to collect and have on hand. So digital personal communicator. Pretty cool. Anyway, um, just wanted to show you the devices I've got here. I've got older barcode proprietary stuff, but this is more mainstream stuff that I think everybody would understand. Talk to you soon. Thanks.